I'm here with Jeremy and Carl from Ribbit. First question, first, right out the gate, Ribbit. Why the name Ribbit? <laughs> right. So short answer is because we're pilotless airlines, so we hop from place to place. The long answer is because we want a name that was personable and had international appeal, and we figure a raw frog is you know everywhere around the world, so everybody would be able to relate to it. Can we talk about the technology, about the company, about Ribbit, and what it is that you do? Yeah, for sure. So Ribbit is a cargo airline that uses fully autonomous aircraft. We'll take a pre-existing fixed-wing airplane that takes off and lands from a runway and retrofit it so that it can do everything by itself with a computer. So taxiing, takeoff, collision avoidance, flying around, landings, emergency procedures. Um, and where we're at right now is we just returned from two weeks of flight testing up in northeastern Ontario. Uh, Carl and I and the rest of our team did a whole bunch of flights where um, we basically did flights between one airport and another 50 kilometers apart. Um, Carl doubles as our test pilot in addition to being a co-founder of this uh, company. And uh, in the videos that you see here, and we also have them on our website, uh, he did absolutely nothing. So for the moment that he flicks on the switch, Amazing. technology takes over, plane does everything by itself, and lands at the destination as well. So that's what we're looking at behind us here, right? That's this right. video here. Yeah. I mean, fully autonomous. Yeah, fully autonomous. So this is a GoPro video from a, kind of a GoPro that was on Carl's chest. Okay. Um, and normally it's a two-seater plane. So this is a, it's a demonstrator plane. It's a bit smaller than the one we'd use in the future, mm -hmm. uh, but it's great for prototyping and development. So we've taken out the back seat, replaced it with our technology, um, and we're currently at about 210, 220 hours of flight testing so far, fully successful, hands-free. Um, we do most of our testing in Burlington, Ontario, and now we're starting to do it uh, across other parts of Canada as well. Where would you like to see Ribbit go? Well, our hope is to be able to address issues with food insecurity across the north. There are uh, just over 100 communities all across northern provinces and territories that are fully isolated. They have no year-round road access. Everything gets flown in. And unfortunately today, because these communities are relatively small and isolated, they don't receive the best airline service. So. Our belief is that with small autonomous planes providing high frequency, really reliable service, we'll be able to make a difference in the pricing, selection, and quality of food that they receive, and hopefully address food insecurity in some part as well. And then finally, Carl, to you, working with uh, the government now on this with uh, with Ribbit, is that uh, how far you've uh, gone so far? Correct. So we've just been awarded a $1.3 million contract with ISC and Transport Canada, and that is so that we can do some autonomous flights, provide them with data so that we can inform future policy and regulations for unmanned aircraft of this size in Canada. So it's very exciting and we're happy to be working with them. Well, we're happy to have spoken to both of you. Congratulations, continued success. Canadian innovation at its best. Here you are, Ribbit, hopping from one place to another, fully autonomous, uh, via, well, uh, airplanes, which is absolutely amazing. So from Ribbit, I'm going to have to hop on over to another stop. But I want to thank you both and really congratulations. No, thanks, Rosie. Appreciate it. Nice talking to you.